Hello everyone. In this video today I'm going to go over the new text overflow controls in Text Mesh Pro. So I'm not going to be showing you, you know, fancy looking text with outlines and soft shadows and bevel and glow. I'm just going to focus on some good old, you know, text control functionality. So let's get going. So first I've got two text objects here on screen. I've got one shorter uh, sample of text and then a longer one and I'm using two because I didn't want to use the super long one and have to scroll uh, around to show you all of that on a single line of text. So we're going to start with the top one. So the text overflow controls work in conjunction with word wrapping and right now on this top text I have word wrapping disabled uh, and the overflow controls are here. I'm still doing some layout work on the editor panel, but the functionality is in uh, at this point. So let's start by looking at overflow. And overflow is basically simple. As I change, let's say, the width of my text container, or if I was using uh, Unity 4.6 with the UGUI Text Mesh Pro component, I uh, would be changing the width of the rec transform. But as you can see in overflow mode, um, nothing happens to the text. And if I do that vertically in terms of the height, uh, same thing, nothing happens. Now, if I switch to the truncate, and let's uh, zoom in so we can look at it more closely. So the truncate option, as I come in, and again, remember that the yellow line is the margins, and the margins, much like a, a Word document, define where the text lives. So it's not the outer edge of the container that determines where the masking or truncating or whatever happens, it's where the margin is. So if I was to move this margin here, as you can see, as we run out of space, then we're truncating, okay? The effect would be the same here if I was to change the size of my container. So truncating is basically truncating or clipping. Uh, I guess I could change it to clipping, but you guys will tell me which one you prefer. So if I do it vertically, then obviously there's no no place to go, so the whole thing disappears because we can't fit a single line. Okay, makes sense? Cool. Next feature, uh, ellipses. So ellipses are basically these three dots that appear when uh, they're a visual reference to let us know that not all the text can fit in the given area. Okay, so now the three dots are being added, which is kind of cool. Now, if I was to go here and do that vertically, well, since we can't fit a single line, there's no place to put our three dots, right? But if I was to enable word wrapping um, and make sure there's not enough room for a second line, now because we have word wrapping, it's actually able to do it on the single line. So it's telling us that there's more stuff, but we can't see it. Okay, good. Move to the next block of text. So here, in this case, we're using the same features, but now we've got uh, back to overflow. If I use overflow, we can see, uh, by the way, word wrapping is enabled here. Um, so now we're going to overflow and eventually the text will flow outside the bottom of the container. Right? If we had truncate on, the text overflow would basically, um, depending on how I size my container, it's kind of hard to guess where it's going to wrap. I'm trying to get it a little bit longer so we get an extra line. There we go. So now you see the letter O starts to go of the superscript and then we're truncating and eventually everything truncates. And if I do it vertically, then it's going to go away one line at a time. And as parts disappear, then it can fit the word text here, so we will move it and do the word wrapping and slowly do what it's supposed to do. Okay, now the next cool feature, ellipses, by the way, same thing. Uh, if I was to do it this way, now it can do the ellipses per line. By the way, it maintains the colors um, of whatever the text was. If I go back here, now we can see our ellipses working. Now, masking. So masking, I'll go back to a single line, enable masking. Now masking is, whoops, we have word wrapping going on, so let me disable that. So as we change the container, now we're masking. So instead of doing the truncating, which makes the whole letter disappear, and we have a hard mask right now, you'll be able to pick the soft or the hard mask. Now we can see that we're masking whatever goes outside the margin area. Okay, so that's a... I don't know, ellipses are really cool and I like them a lot. And then my next choice is I like masking. Truncating and the other options are kind of 
you know, a little bit more severe, I, I think, in terms of a visual indicator that not all the text fits. And if I do it vertically, then it's the same thing. You know, it will mask whatever it can't show. Okay. So it's the same thing with the big block of text. Uh, if I go back here and enable masking, as we can't fit it, then the whole thing gets masked. So that's it. So uh, that's it for this video. Just wanted to show the new text overflow controls in Text Mesh Pro. Um, I'd love to hear your comments and feedback, and thank you for watching.